Hi guys, Chris here, and what's for lunch today? Mac and cheese. I was at Walmart yesterday and I saw these bad boys, the Cheetos Mac and Cheese. They have three flavors. They have the Flaming Hot, they have the Cheesy Jalapeno, yum, and then they have the Bold and Cheesy uh, Mac and Cheese. So I'm excited to take a, a bite out of these because, I mean, who doesn't like Cheetos? I like the normal Cheetos, like the puffs, and then I also like the baked uh, Cheetos. Those are pretty good too. Um, the, I've never had the Flaming Hot, and I've never had the uh, Cheesy Jalapeno ones. So these are going to be a new flavor for me. And then also, I've never done a mac and cheese in a cup like this. And I guess you just put it in the microwave and cook it, and it should be ready in like three minutes. So. Um, the Flaming Hot, I'm a little, little scared about, but let's just try it out and see. Hey, it might be a new flavor that I like. All right, so for this whole cup, um, nutrition, calories, one package, 210 calories, which isn't terrible. I mean, if you're not watching your calories. Um, but other than that, three and a half grams of total fat, I'll put it up there or in the link or in the comments below. Uh, microwave it, remove lid and seasoning pouch. So I'm just going to follow the directions. I'm gonna do exactly what they say. I'm not gonna add any crisp love to it. I'm just gonna try it as what's on here. All right, remove lid and seasoning pouch. Okay. Remove the lid, that's what it looks like. It's got a little pouch of seasoning in there. Oh, and it's got the noodles right there. All right, not bad. You will see loose white powder in the pasta. This is necessary for proper cooking. I'm trying to see, I really don't see it. It must be like on the bottom. And then add water to the fill line inside of the cup. So there is a fill line right there. That's easy peasy. Just put it under the faucet, fill it up, uh, stir it up, microwave. Let me get the powder and see what the powder looks like. Oh, that's bright red. Oh, that looks hot, guys. I didn't bring water. I should have brought water. To show you what it looks like. Ah, I'm making a mess. I'm getting red powder all over the place. So that's what it looks like. Oh, that kind of scares me. All right. Stir it up. Oh, so I'm supposed to add the water. See, already I'm not doing what the direction says. Add water to the fill line. Stir it up. All right. It's not telling me to put it in there. Oh, I did it wrong already. Oh my goodness gracious. See, I'm already not following directions. Remove lid and seasoning pouch. You will see loose white powder in the pasta. This is necessary for proper cooking. Add water to the fill line inside of the cup. Stir it up. Microwave uncovered on high for three minutes or until pasta is tender. Do not drain. You will need the liquid to make the sauce. Stir in seasoning pouch. Mix two to three minutes for maximum cheesiness. Caution, cup and contents will be extremely hot. Microwaves may vary. All right, so already I messed up. Good thing I got extra because I know me, I'm going to mess up. It's just that, it's just, it's bound to happen. So I'm gonna go cook these in the three different flavors and then I will be back and we'll try the taste test. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I cooked all of them. I cooked them accordingly to the directions exactly step by step. So this is what it kind of looks like. At first I was kind of worried because there was a lot of water left over in there, um, but I mean, you can't tell now. It actually looks pretty cheesy and it looks really good. I was also nervous that the noodles weren't gonna get cooked like I like them, 
I like my noodles completely cooked, like soft. I don't like to taste any um, stiffness or hardness or anything like that. Um, but they look like they're cooked pretty darn good. So, but this one, look how pretty that is. That's a pretty mac and cheese. But let me tell you, this is the one that I'm super nervous about. Um, but doesn't that look pretty? So that's the Flaming Hot. This was the cheesy jalapenos. Um, I was thinking, because on the picture, there's like little green specks and it looks like jalapenos. And I was hoping that I would see that in this. Um, and I don't see any of the green specks of the jalapenos. And then this is just your normal cheesy, bold and cheesy. Okay. So I'm going to get a plate. I'm going to do this one last. Let's just go, go with the bold and cheesy first. Um, let's just put it on the plate. Oh, it looks, it looks pretty creamy it looks really good actually so that's what it looks like <laughs> okay let's try it this shouldn't be too bad i shouldn't be too nervous about this make sure that it's nice and cooled off mm. Mm. oh that's good oh mm-hmm the noodles are cooked perfect. They are cooked for three minutes. I didn't do anything special. I just did exactly what the directions are. And for those noodles to be cooked perfect like that in three minutes in the microwave is just amazing. And I do like the spirals. The spirals gives it a little different texture. And I, I'm a big texture person when I'm eating. I like different textures, but Mmm, mmm, that's good. That is really good. Bold and cheesy flavor. It does not have like American cheese flavoring to it. It's more of a cheddar, Monterey Jack kind of cheese. Um, mmm, no, it says cheddar cheese. That is really good. So just like, it doesn't taste like Cheetos but it's a good flavor especially if you're not a big american cheese type of fan okay so that's pretty good i'm leaving the bright red one last because i'm really nervous about that the jalapeno i'm going to try this one this looks like a normal mac and cheese like crap this does look like a cheetos um, seasoning, which, oh, I really like that. That's good. Um, this has cheddar, Romano and Monterey Jack, Parmesan and blue cheese. Oh, I'm not a big blue cheese fan. That's kind of, that surprises me. Blue cheese and mac and cheese. Mm. So that's what it looks like. Okay, let's try it. I wish I would see the jalapeno uh, specs in there like the picture but I don't see that all right let's try it I'm just gonna take a take a bite mm. and then the noodles are cooked perfect even though I don't see the jalapeno speckles in here like you do want oh you taste it. Mmm. Wow. It's spicy. Your kids will have to, if you're going to get this, they're going to have to make sure that they like the spiciness because it's good, cheesy. And then that jalapeno, it does, um, it gets you. It's spicy, but it's good. And it does taste like jalapenos. Okay. I'm going to take another bite because this is really good. Mm. I can't get over those noodles being cooked perfect for three minutes. Mm. I mean, they're both perfect. 
I don't taste any blue cheese. I don't taste any Romano. I mean, and Monterey Jack is just a very light tasting cheddar. I don't really, I just taste jalapenos. But when you first take a bite, you do get that cheese flavor. Um, but then it, it's followed up with that jalapeno. It just tastes like nacho cheese, like you would when you're making nachos. That's good. But I do like that bold and cheesy. I love that first one. That first one's good. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so nervous. Okay. Clean my palate. Get rid of that spiciness. Oh my. It's so pretty though. It really is pretty. I, oh, I love, I love, love, love love the color okay should i just take one noodle no let's just i'll take the same amount of bites as i did the other ones okay here i go <gasps> maybe ready set go maybe come on Chris, you can do it all right let's go my eyes are watering that's hot oh that's hot <sighs> that's hot oh my gosh my mouth is still burning the jalapeno oh I'm like sweating it is that hot it is flaming hot Oh, I don't know if I want to try another bite, but again, the noodles are cooked perfect. Again, for only three minutes, my mouth is on fire. It's flaming hot. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't take another bite. Yeah, let me see. Will it get hotter? Will it get... Ugh, how do people eat these as like the flaming hot Cheetos as snacks? How? I wouldn't even be able to enjoy maybe that's why they do it they don't eat as many okay i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do it to me myself again oh ready mm, 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 mm. oh my god oh why did i do it mm. Is my face getting red because it's so hot mm. oh my gosh at first when it <coughs> it's hot mm. at first it kind of was cooling down my mouth the noodles were but then when that seasoning when it like starts like activating in your mouth it is hot oh i'm not taking any more bites of that but it's pretty to look at the noodles are cooked perfect it is still burning my mouth and let me just do this maybe this will help mm. okay oh okay it calmed it down a little it's flaming hot 10 out of 10 stars on this one. It hit noodles cooked perfect, the flavoring's there, and it's exactly what it says. It's flaming hot. Mm -mm -mm. The jalapeno, oh, cheesy and jalapenos is still burning my mouth. 10 out of 10. Noodles, again, per cooked perfect. I love the spirals of the noodles. 
and the jalapenos is there even though there's no you couldn't if you were looking at it there is no way the bold and cheesy again 10 out of 10 i absolutely love these i will be buyers i will be a buyer for my family for these because these are so good so hopefully they will stay around and i'm hoping that they'll be in a normal like family size box instead of just this season or the one serving size okay i gotta go and drink some milk or something because my mouth is still on fire go try these guys they're brand new they just came out yesterday at walmart 98 cents can't go wrong with that and if you've uh tried them comment if you haven't go get them and then comment and let me know what you think because they're pretty darn good and um i will catch you guys later i need to go get something to drink bye